Getting food into the treatment center is becoming more and more difficult. Look, the bags have been popped out. Look, they've been stacked. One of the bags, the flour, the sand, the cereal, anything that has that kind of bag. How do we know they didn't put nothing in it? CBC reporters left. There's no no broadcast reporters at all. Well, I think the thing that's the most unbelievable is that in a country like Canada, we're allowing the army to tell us what uh, what can be published in our newspapers and what can be put on our uh, nightly news. At a press conference, Terry Dogstater describes the negotiator's final proposal for this engagement. You said there, there might be a risk involved here because you're willing to lay down your gun before they. The government has just announced that the army will be replaced by the SQ. The greatest risk right now is that should the army pull out, SQ will move in and not be interested in seeking peace and having peace. They'd be more interested in seeing these men dead. Back in TC, behind the razor wire, the army uses high-pressure water hoses against the warriors. to condoms full of water at the soldiers. On September 26, after 78 days under siege, the people reach a consensus. They will walk out of TC. For the moment, we have to endure persecution. We have to endure our people being mistreated in the courts, in the jails, being beaten, being bayoneted. For now, but in the long course of history, the face of Canada will be politically, socially, economically, and spiritually changed in back in favor of our people. And who knows how our, our great-grandchildren are going to rewrite that. And that's totally up to them. But we will at least be able to leave the earth knowing that while we were here, we did all that we could to set in motion for them a better future. And so it's, for me, that's what Kanasadake is about.